There's a whole other world of dragons out there. Unbelievable. Hold on! Distract the Alpha. Have a nice flight! <laughs> uh oh. And today I'm going to make a video response to an Asian woman who apparently uh, feels like she, you know, doesn't want to be catcalled out on the streets or in a bar or whatever. Why am I wearing glasses? It's just, you know, it's reflecting off the light. You know, you want to see my eyes. Asian woman. And this is going to be a part of common arguments against feminism, not Feminazi Friday, because although you don't hear very often the feminist argument, it is very common. Some feminists just hate the hate the people pretty much. Hey guys, Firefly here with my second entry for round two of the Pangea Online Poetry Slam. Thank you guys so much, by the way, for everyone who's been watching and commenting and liking and sharing and all that good stuff. Oh, your fucking voice is so fucking annoying. I've heard some bad voices on YouTube. I mean, granted, girl, does Ren has a high-pitched voice, but at least she'd use a voice modulator, and that's understandable. Your voice is something that I just can't under... Just can't withstand. I am very sorry to personally insult you first and then give out my personal criticism, but I have to do it because your voice is so freaking annoying. It takes a lot for poets to put ourselves out there and then to have that feedback is amazing. So thanks for putting this together, everybody. Um, so this one is called Cat Calling Questionnaire. Hope you guys enjoy. Ladies. You know how sometimes you're just minding your own business and then someone feels the urge to inform you that hey, that ass be fine, or smile, you're too pretty to be so sad, or even better, love them long time. Well, I don't know what exactly is considered to be catcalled for a feminist because, um, you know, I could say you're beautiful and still, and you know, still make a woman feel completely uncomfortable because, you know, I'm complimenting her fucking looks. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, oh, ho. <sighs> Look, if you don't like being catcalled, you don't have to acknowledge the men. You could just simply walk away and don't let it bother you. I mean, do I let personal insults get to me? No, not really. They're fucking insults. They're words, okay? If someone starts to piss me off, on the other hand, then things get physical. And they catch you off guard. You'd love to say something smart, but it's hard to be smart when you're being treated like a piece of meat. Maybe because you're not that smart. And I'm not saying this, you know, as a personal insult. I'm actually saying this because you're not that smart. You're, I mean, you're making a video about catcalling and how you overvalue their, you know, one person's comment about you. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, really? So here's what I wish I had said. Hey, yo, boy. Yes, you, boy. My fucking God. Never, and I mean never, say such words ever again because seriously you made vanilla ice look black and you have to do a lot to make vanilla ice look like a black guy i am coming over there it seems like you've expressed interest in me and you seem like a human being who god gave the gifts of speech and language that means you need to learn to use them properly and i'm in the business of teaching so let's have us some learning shall we it's my god God, you are the Don Hawkins of YouTube. I mean, seriously. 
Is that what you're really going to do? Walk up to somebody and, you know, make a three-minute, I don't know, speech about how women are being treated, you know, how to treat women with, you know, respect? Again, you could just fucking drop it and just say, fuck you. You know, that, that would have made a lot more sense. But no, you're, you're making a three-minute speech on how to be respectful and shit. Very simple. Two questions. Firstly, what exactly does your smile, you drop your smile mean? When I can fry an egg on the sidewalk, bake cookies in my car if I wanted to, it is hot. This is how my face looks. It is my face on my head and my business. How dare you tell me to smile because I've been in a bad mood and, and you know, I don't need someone to talk to, you know, I could be walking down the streets and whatnot, you know, not have a conversation with anyone, but I don't understand you, okay? I don't understand you at all. I mean, if someone says, hey, you dropped your smile, which I'm assuming meaning that you should look a little bit more happy, you know, because you look prettier if you're happy. If that pisses you off, then remind me to never go on a date with you. In fact, I should probably write that down. But it's not like you actually want to go on a date with me, you know, because, you know, you're a bra-burning lesbian, am I right? <laughs> Fuck you. Your face is over there on your head and homeboy can do what he wants with that nest because I'm not touching it. Well, good. Don't. You're not in any obligation to do so anyway. Like, I have no obligation to watch this video as, at all, but here I am still doing so. Secondly, here is your chance to rephrase that as be fine. What did you possibly hope to accomplish with that one? Did you A. Enjoy treating women like objects? B. Enjoy reminding me that my body is not considered my own. C. Reinforce the stereotype that you as a man are so desperate for sex, it is unreasonable of me as a woman to expect you to keep your tongue or your penis in check. Again, you're on no obligation to care on what people have to say about you. If you feel like you're being dehumanized, then don't fucking care. You know, don't interact with that person. You know, call him a pig, a jerk, or whatever. But don't give out this three-minute speech about how, you know, how you feel offended by the words that this guy have said. I mean, seriously. Would you prefer if I started calling you ugly and bitchy and stupid? You know, just, just walk up to you. You know, let's just do that from now on for every woman that we meet. Hey, they're ugly. What happened to you? Did you just got run over by a fucking truck or something? You're fucking hideous. Let's have sex. Or D, want to punish me for being an Asian female daring to walk alone in public. If you wanted to attract my attention, here are words you could have used. Hello. Hot day, isn't it? Cute dogs. How are you? Because <sighs> you see, I don't think you'd do what you do if you knew how many of us are afraid to walk alone but have to do it anyway and do it furtively looking around with pepper spray in our pockets because it's our job as women to protect ourselves and not your job to not rape. This is also one of those commonly made arguments made by feminists, which is don't teach women not to get raped, teach men not to rape. I will tell you this right now. Society has taught men and women not to rape. They has taught, society has taught us that stealing is wrong, killing is wrong, raping is wrong, um, child molestation is wrong, all that shit. And there's still people who break the law because they're into it. They're, they enjoy this shit and there's nothing we can do about it. You know, it's like trying to change someone's sexuality. You can't do that because it's part of their genes. It's what they do. So if some, you know, if, a, if 
someone is, you know, really bugging you, then you have the right to, you know, use the pepper spray or taser him because, you know, that person is bugging you. But only do it in self-defense because if you're doing it because you don't like the person, then that's, per that's uh, assault. But self-defense is okay. If we were to use that sort of logic, then I can use this. Don't teach me to secure all my items. Tell the burglars to stop stealing items. You see on how much bullshit that is? How many of us already have a problem with the shiny happy magazines and movies that tell us we aren't pretty enough? How many of us cry at night because our bodies are foreign and the men in suits and ties make the laws that say what we may or may not do with them? How many of you actually care about men's opinion? Just saying. How many are confused because if we do, we're sluts and if we don't, we're prudes. How many of us will never feel pretty enough, thin enough, tits big enough, hair shiny, eyes big, skin clear, waist small, butt big enough to be called beautiful in this world? Everyone has their own version of beautiful. You can be overweight and still be considered beautiful. Hell, I find some fat women attractive, believe it or not. Yes. I actually admit it, I find some fat women to be attractive. Now, go ahead and tell me that I'm a fucking liar. I fucking- I don't think you or the others who have told me to smile, to be their geisha girl, to bring the ass over there so they can show me what to do with it. I don't think you would do it if you knew. We have enough problems already. Well, screw your fucking problems. That's all I have to say. So thank you for filling out my cat calling questionnaire on this dog day afternoon. Have a good one now, asshole. All right, all right. I have a questionnaire for you. Fill out these two questions right now. Number one, how much of a bitch you have to be to care so much about my opinion that you have to make a two to three minute rant on how you fe how you feel? Because, quite frankly, if you tell me to, you know, simply fuck off just by me complimenting your looks, then that wouldn't have been, you know, that wouldn't been so much of a problem. I mean, just think about it. And two, are you constantly a bitch? Because from the speech that you've made, I don't think I want to date you. You have a bad personality. You have the worst kind of personality that anyone should have. And you know what? I shouldn't really care. So, I think I have to say this. It doesn't matter if you do or don't fill out this questionnaire because at the end of the day, you're a bitch. So, please kindly fuck off for the rest of your miserable life. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.